What's up guys? BTBS here. Uh, I just accidentally threw a bomb down my mineshaft, so I have to go and see if it made any mess. Which I'm sure it did. Yes, yeah, right there. It destroyed a little bit of my mineshaft. That is a bit of a shitter. So, uh, at the end of the last episode, I used almost 2,000 silt and slush in my extractinator and got myself 40 odd gold from it and a load of really good ores. So, um, I actually don't have a platinum bar sitting in there, which I really should. It only takes four, right? So what I'll do is uh, I'll take all my platinum, not divisible by four, graft it into bars, put it back in there. Uh, that, and where's the ore? Where's the ore? Dicks, what did I do? Did I accidentally use all of the ore? It was 95. 95 isn't divisible by 4. Hell, oh, bugger. Yes, I must have used 100 or... Oh, well. Um, yes, what I actually wanted to do today was craft myself a set of armour. So I'm going to craft silver. Because silver is the next step up. 343, three, which is, I believe, the studio that made Halo. 343... Three, Studio or 343 Industry, something like that. And it's an upgrade of my 232. And how much is it going to take? 20, 30, 25. 75, I have 65, I must craft more. Must craft more silver bars. So I will craft 76 silver bars. And then I'll make my armor. So silver armor. In fact, you guys are probably going to know what it looks like. So uh, I'll put it on. Silver greaves. So it's quite nice. It's quite angelic looking, in fact. I, I like it. Uh, but what I like more than the armor is the defense. I have got 28 defense. The full set of armor gives a three bonus. So that's um, nine, 13 armor I get. Uh, 13 defense I get from that armor. And I mean, it's all well and good. But I already think that uh, it's not good enough and I have enough gold to craft a lot more uh, I have enough gold to craft a set of golden armor I believe so um, let me have a look it gives 4, 5, 4 25, 35, 30 that's 65, that's gonna take 90? Fuck me, maybe I don't have enough gold. I only have 88 gold. And it takes 25, plus 35, which is 60, plus 30, which is 90. I actually don't have enough gold. Oh, well. I actually don't have enough gold to craft a set of golden armor, so uh, silver's gonna have to do. Fair enough. Uh, what do I want to do this episode, which I mentioned last episode? I want to go exploring. If we look at the map here, I haven't made it to either side of the map. This side, I died in the jungle, and this side, I died in some corruption, it looks like. Yeah, there's thorns everywhere. I'm not surprised I died. So I want to go exploring. Uh, I've got a few torches and such. Um, I've dropped my money off, so it doesn't matter if I die, which is good, because I might not want to run all the way back. Actually, if I am going to the edge of the map, there's something I should take. There's a lot of things I should take, but there's something I should make and take. I just hope I have the uh, all the ingredients, because I'm not sure what all the ingredients are. Basically, I want to make a potion. I mentioned I was keeping these water leaves. Right, guys, I am back. Sorry about that. Uh, I got interrupted. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to cut the last part. So, um, yes, I came in here looking for something. What I came in here looking for was oh, water leaf. I, I told you guys I've been collecting this stuff for a while for a very good reason. If I go to the guide here, what was the other thing I wanted to make? So, it's used to make three separate potions. And I want the gills potion. It allows you to breathe underwater. And, ah, oh, fuck. 
Right, the, the thing I need for Gil's potions, I do not have. Um, tell you what I can do, though. Gil's potions require a bottle of water. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm actually going to take the stuff I need to make this with me? I don't know why that was a question. And it was like, I'm going to take it with me? Am I really? Yes, I'm going to take it with me. Uh, I need a stand. I've got a stand. So, um, stand, bottle, potion, and then just the coral. And I'm going to head over to the way, over to the right here, because it's um, the closest edge of the map I've found. So if you guys um, haven't played Terraria, you, you might not know, but the edge of the world is always the ocean. And it's rather large, rather deep. It houses some... Uh, Sometimes very formidable enemies. In fact, I should take some blocks. I could very much do with some blocks. I think dirt would be good. Let's just get some dirt blocks here. Yeah, I don't have time to go mining it all. 44, I want some more. Oh, Christ. Almost killed myself there. So I am going to have to go through the corruption, which is going to be kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, God, that was bombs. I meant to have my boomerang equipped. In fact, I should be using my sword. The sword doesn't auto-swing, but it does do some decent damage. And, of course, it has the projectile, which is very nice. So, yeah, I'm going to be heading over towards the, um, the ocean right on the edge of the map. Just to see if I got uh, lucky with a good ocean. Oceans can have a lot of stuff in them. As well as being like the primary place that certain enemies spawn. Like, I think they're the only place sharks spawn. And sharks, man, sharks are badass. They have like 300 health and do like 40, 50 damage a hit. So it'd be really nice if I could get my gold armor before having to deal with them with non-gold armor. But I suppose uh, silver will have to do. I am wearing silver. Yeah, I am. Cool. So yes, I'm going to over to the ocean. Um, I've made large... This is a large world, so I should have a fairly decent sized ocean, which is good. And um, the ocean is actually where coral grows. And I want the coral so I can go oceaneering. Oh, look how much easier it is to travel with a grappling hook. Yeah, so much easier. I can travel so much easier with a grappling hook. I'm going to swing my sword around in here so I kill the thorns. Thorns are really annoying. They can do a lot. They generally, I think they do 5 damage as a base. But when you have armor, obviously, they do less. For anyone wondering, I actually looked up on the wiki what the formula is for the amount of arm, the amount of defense you have and how much damage it reduces. Basically, if you half what the amount of defense you have, so if you have 50 defense, you take 25 less damage from every hit to a minimum of one damage a hit. Every hit has to do at least one damage. But uh, what it does is if you say you have an odd number, say you have 21 defense, it will half it and then round it up so it always has to be a whole number. So if you have 21 defense, you take 11 less damage. So I've got like... 20 defense. In fact, I think, yeah, I have exactly 20 defense. So I take 10 less damage from every hit. So thorns, which I think normally do about 5, will only do 1 because of the minimum 1 they have to do. And I didn't actually know that. I wasn't sure how exactly defense works. So it's nice to know that. It's going to come in handy when planning out certain excursions and stuff like that. Like knowing exactly how much defense I have, how much damage I'll take from certain things. Yeah, that Eater of Souls fucked off. And it's getting to daytime as well, which is going to be very nice. Uh, it would be nice if I had some more glow sticks, because normal torches obviously don't work underwater. Let's just climb this mountain the easy way. Or the lazy way, I suppose. Oh, he didn't actually fuck off. He's still following me. Nice. Yeah, that's right. I'm running forward and attacking backwards. What are you vultures going to do? Man, these guys are literally vultures. They're just waiting for me to die. It'd be interesting if vultures actually only spawned when you were, like, near death. 
just to categorize on the whole vulture thing. It's like, yeah, this is the vulture. And it's only going to come near you when you're about to die. And by the way, I, I swing my pickaxe when I run because of things like that, that blink group. Uh, you can't always see them too easily. But basically, if you swing a pickaxe or anything that auto-swings, like a really fast sword will do it. But if you swing it while you're running, you'll automatically like destroy any plants you happen to go by, which can be extremely valuable for picking up um, like potion supplies without having to actually seek them out. Having to seek them out kind of sucks. Because you have to go to the uh, exact place where they spawn, that sort of thing. But if you just pick them up while you're going, then you don't have to worry about doing it later. And you just have them on hand. And you know, I love to stockpile, and I suppose hoard would be the right phrase. I love to hoard stuff. I have that, that feeling of, I might need it later, so I'll get it now. And I'll just keep hold of it. Ah, oh, all of its stuff ended up underground when it died. Looks like their items spawn wherever they die. That's good to know. Right, so here we are in the jungle, and in fact, when traveling through water, the grappling hook is a great way of going faster, because you move at grappling hook speeds, not underwater walking speeds. You move, I think, slightly slower than the grappling hook normally moves, but it's still a lot faster than you move while walking. Yo. Good thing I gave myself that extra 60 HP, otherwise I'd be dead. And, uh, yeah, if you remember, like I said earlier, I never actually made it out of the jungle to the uh, edge of the world. And that's coming up fairly soon. So hopefully the extra armor, the better sword, and the grappling hook for movement is really going to help me get out of this fucking jungle. There we go. Screw you, piranha. The piranhas do some decent damage for just a fish. Hey, a gravestone. And I think my second gravestone is just in here somewhere. Oh yeah, right next to this chest. So what's in here? Uh, I clearly took whatever the good thing was in that chest. But I'll take the chest and the tombstone. I don't like to leave tombstones around. It just looks a bit messy. The entire world starts to look like a graveyard, you know? Right, over here. Okay, I've got a bit of a hill to go up. Man, this is a proper, like, chasm on the other side of this. Die, die, die. All that is dead. So I'm definitely going to go down that chasm later on. But for now, I just want to make it to the ocean. I've been wanting to make it to the ocean for so long. Like, the ocean is one of my favourite places. There's so much water there. In fact, in one of my um, single-player worlds, uh, which I later played on with Seraph, I drained the entire ocean which was not an easy thing to do because there's probably a good few thousand I'm not exactly sure maybe tens of thousands of blocks of water and I actually drained it all the way down to the very bottom of the world so this is the ocean right here it is large it goes on for so long in right I'm gonna take this coral just so I can go and make one um, water breathing potion and then I'm going to go and explore. I've actually never seen uh, a non-ocean biome so close to an ocean before. Usually it's like a um, a thing, like a desert. Or it just looks like a sort of like a beach. Because it's all sand. I've never seen anything that drastically different so close to an ocean. So workbench. Fuck off that. Uh, what do I want? On the workbench, I want a bottle, and then I just want to craft gills potion. And then I want to take the gills potion so I can now breathe underwater. Woo! And right there we see jellyfish and crabs and squid. I forgot about squid because they're so generally just so worthless. But these pink jellyfish actually do quite a bit of damage, which worries me. Because you know, if I can't kill a simple jellyfish, they are the most like common enemy underground. Uh, underwater, sorry. But what I came here for was the coral, and you might be able to see it right there, the chests. So, just like every, pretty much every other major biome, the ocean has its own chests. And, um, they're, well, they're not only the ocean. They do occasionally spawn in other places. 
What do we have? A breathing tube, tin bar, shine potion, and a bit of money. I'm okay with that. I definitely need money and such. The breathing tube is quite nice. If you hold it out, like as your active item, it doubles your underwater breathing time. So it takes your original 45 seconds, I think, up to 1 minute 30. And um, that can be used in combination with some other stuff, like uh, an accessory called diving gear, which allows you to breathe underwater for double the time. And that means you can get like three minutes of underwater time. Oh, and there we have a shark. Fuck. Right, so the shark is going to be extremely dangerous in this situation. Although it looks like my knockback can just about hold it back and kill it. Woo! That was lucky, actually. Very lucky. So, ideally, I don't want to die under the water because I don't want to have to come all the way back here. But, oh, here we go. Right on the edge of the screen, two water chests, and I only have about 15 seconds of breathing time left. So, what I'm going to do is make myself a little underwater chamber, take blocks, not sand, I need solid blocks, like mud, shit, not bombs either, oh I'm gonna die, I died, bollocks, I was trying, I couldn't see what was going on, what I was gonna do, for anyone who's interested, I was gonna dig a little 2x2 two two hole down, put a roof on me, and then dig the sand down, so that the um, the water that was in the chamber would move down, I'd have an airspace, and I could breathe under there. But that didn't go too well, did it? So I dropped all my money, but I can now um, create a bunch of water breathing potions. As many as I got coral, yes. So the breathing reed I actually don't need now that I've got plenty of water breathing potions. 20 silver, not bad. So that, the shark fins, I want to keep five of them for an end game item. And I'd like to keep my water chest as well. The, the water chest doesn't only spawn underwater, uh, in the ocean, sorry. It tends to spawn anywhere with a lot of water, so... Uh, sorry about that, that was uh, phone interference on my computer speakers, it happens all the time. Uh, yes, so the... Water potions are going to be very helpful, and I kind of want to go back to that ocean. I mean, if you look at the sides of the map, it's not massive compared to the rest of the map, but it is fairly big compared to me. So there's a lot of coral left under there, and there's still those two chests, and there's also a tombstone over there. So I think what I'm going to do this time is travel to the left, because I haven't been close to the edge of the map on here. So yeah, I'm going to name the... The, the episode like exploration because if you're not interested in seeing me just run to the side and then checking out the chests that spawn you're really going to be probably a bit bored with this episode because that is going to be most of this episode is going to be exploring but you know cactus man's got to do what cactus man's got to do <laughs> and it's, it's nice to know roughly where if in your world is so you know get a nice little uh, view with the map. And uh, I'm, I want to know which ocean is going to be easier to get to. So I know which one to use as a farm. Let's see. Uh, jellyfish and sharks, like most mobs, have a rare drop. Uh, both of them drop accessories. And they're both accessories that I really want for certain pieces of equipment. Uh, certain accessories, I should say. Yeah, equipment, accessories. It's all the same shit, really. But they both have items that I really want. And sharks only spawn in the ocean. And jellyfish spawn a lot in the ocean. Jellyfish, not that worried about. Because um, there's actually a in-game method of uh, basically creating a spawner for them. So you can farm their items. And I don't mind making that. In fact, I'll be making that for money anyway. So I can make a money farm, basically. But that doesn't come until a lot later. Like three bosses later. And by the way, now that I have over 160 health, I believe it is uh, possible for the first boss of the game to spawn, the Eye of Cthulhu. And uh, the reason I didn't use the um, hearts straight away was because I didn't want to fight him when I only had 100 health and no good armor. Well, 120 health. 
He has three conditions. One of them is that you have at least 120 health. The second one, I think, is that you have at least a couple of NPCs. And I cannot remember what the third condition is. So I might actually not be in the point where I can spawn him yet, simply because of his third condition. But I think I'm about ready to fight him. I mean, you can't always be prepared, but you can be prepared enough. You know? Right. Jump. Yes. I'm really hoping that I find some good chests with a few mobility items in them. Ooh, I thought that was a... that right there was a ledge. Fuck off. Fucking eater of souls everywhere. Okay, so I've actually been a lot further than this, than where I am now. I'm going to keep collecting that water leaf because uh, those water breathing potions are very useful for long excursions into the ocean. And even certain underground places, because you tend to get a lot of uh, like flooded ruins sort of thing. Like at the bottom of my uh, jungle temple, it's flooded. And I mean, you don't necessarily need the water breathing potions for that, but it's always nice to have them. Just in case. And I know later on I'll be spending an awful lot of time in the ocean, but that'll be like 20 episodes from now. Maybe a lot more than 20. I'll have to beat the four bosses and do some other stuff. I'll have, I'll, I can't really put a time, st time spec on the episodes, because it seems like this game is a lot harder. Uh, this world I got is just not as good as some other worlds I had. Like, I reckon there's a... Like a um, code in the game to fuck over let's players that's what i think because it seems like i've played a lot i've played quite a few worlds and none of them have ever been as hard as this like with the amount of mobs that spawn and how hard the mobs are to kill and um they also tend to, all the other worlds have really really good chests like i picked up the uh, some of the travel items i'm after in my first few chests in the game and this time i haven't even seen them yet and i've opened i've opened a good few chests There. Yes. Oh. And of course we're back in the corruption because the corruption is fucking everywhere. That was close. Okay, there's a lot of thorns over here. That's probably enough thorns to kill you if you don't have armor. Or maybe even kill you if you have bad armor. And combined with other stuff, like the full damage you're most likely going to be taking. Oh. Okay, this isn't a good place to be. Is that Deathweed? That's Deathweed right there. I want Deathweed. Well, I can't mine the actual blocks, but I can just break them. I can just break through them even. There we go. Right, up there. So I, don't, I have no idea what's coming up in this section of the world, because I haven't been here before. There could be anything. I mean, there could be a dragon made of donut over the other side of this hill. Ooh, slimes. And it's getting night time. Damn it. Right. Or is it getting day? Oh, no, it was just dark because I was in the corruption. Although it must be getting night time because it is fairly dark out here. Oh, in the face, son. In the face. Yeah, you don't even know about my skills. Ooh, chest. Uh, an umbrella. That is actually fantastic. And uh, the rest of the stuff. Just general loot. Nothing amazing. Take that chest. Whoa! Okay, there's a there's a hole. I did not see the hole. That's why I was placing torches. Okay. Uh, really would like to get him out of the way. I love that sound when the uh, projectile from this rips through like a thousand cobwebs. That's a great sound. I'm going to mine away some of this sand just to make a passageway if I don't want to go over the top. If I want to be lazy, just, you know, just, just stay in for the night. Stay in this little hole and uh, mine away some shit. Well, I mean, I wouldn't be mining once I was already in here. That's good enough. Okay, so we have a very up and down desert here. Ah, crap. Keep putting my hands on the wrong keys. I took my hand away to scratch, and then I kept putting my hands on the wrong keys. Oop, die, die. Yeah. Suck it, zombie. I'm going to try and keep a torch out so that you guys can sort of see stuff. 
Because uh, I don't for you guys to miss everything. Just be like, that was great. It was half hour episode of just black screen and the occasional blue swirl. I do like weapons that give off light. Because it means that when you're playing alone, you don't have to worry about lights. You can just use a weapon that gives off light and just swing it around. Oh, okay. Uh, I found the dungeon. Which is always populated by an immense amount of skull vases. And then this old man, who uh, I don't want to fuck with yet, because he is actually um, the method of spawning the third. I, I'm not really sure third boss because the PC uh, uh, version of this game has some bosses the console version doesn't. So, you know, you could fight the bosses in uh, pretty much any particular order. You wouldn't want to, but you could. In fact, I think, yeah, you could pretty much fight none of the, uh, just one of the normal bosses to, uh, and then get to the end of the game. Because he's not very hard, well, if you had equipment from another character, then you wouldn't need to fight, you wouldn't need to fight anyone else to get to him. Oh, here we have the ocean! Sweet! So I want to, not a water leaf, I want to take a gills potion and plunge myself in. So squid, obviously jellyfish, they have 70 health. Even the squid have 30 health. All I want to do is send one of those just in front of me so I can see what's coming. Oh lovely, a tiny ocean, I got a trident. That's, um, if you're wondering, it's really not good. This ocean is absolutely minuscule. And the worst thing, the uh, the map actually shows the ocean being a lot longer than it is. Because the map seems to think that the ocean should be about twice as long as it is in the map. But you can't go there because this is the edge of the uh, entire world. See, I'm holding down uh, A to try and move to the edge, but I can't. So one chest in this world, in this ocean is what we got. So this ocean is small and boring, so I think what I'm going to do with this ocean is actually drain it all away. Like I was uh, talking about earlier, but I wasn't actually planning on doing it, but now I have a really shit small ocean, and I don't mind doing it. This is what I was trying to do earlier. Just do that so I had somewhere to actually be, you know? So now that I have fully explored both oceans... Ow. Damn sand! So, like, when you're... Uh, if you mine like this, and then go down, you can glitch inside the sand blocks, and when you're inside a block, you instantly start taking damage. If it's like a gravity affected falling block sort of thing. So I was taking damage from the sand just because I accidentally fell inside it. Which, I, I mean, I didn't. Also, a little tip for people digging straight down like this, a glow stick placed at your feet will provide mobile light. So the glow stick will move down as you move down, so you don't have to worry about placing torches all the damn time. Which is very nice. Saves a lot of time. Right, we are officially into the dirt now. So I can switch to bombs. And bombs are probably the best method of mining in the game, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, occasionally you might lose a few drops. But who really cares about, you know, even more dirt, even more sand, even more stone? There's only so much of that shit you actually need. Oh, Christ. So, yeah, the weird thing about being over this far on the edge of the map... Oh, sorry. Hiccup. Is that your uh, your cursor doesn't move with you. The cursor normally moves with you because it's stuck to a point on the screen. And as you move, that point on the screen moves. Well, it's stuck to a point on the screen wherever you leave it. It's not actually stuck to just one point on the screen, obviously. That'd be a pretty shit cursor. Wouldn't be able to, like, aim at anything. But yeah, I want to move away from the, uh, the wall a little bit. In fact, if I look at my map, it says there's something over here. Um, that's me. Okay. My map seems to have shat itself a little bit. There's definitely a little cave here. 
no idea what's over there, so let's go up a little bit and mine via the use of explosives. Oh, there's a zombie up there. Oh, crap. I was trying to get out. Sorry, I, I stopped talking because I was panicking a little bit. I was like, I've just planted a bomb and now I can't move. Ooh, lots of zombies. Okay, so we just got a little bit of an underground cavern, it looks like. Yeah. This is actually a nice point to start moving from, because it's far enough in that my uh, cursor actually follows my character movement. So, if you're wondering how you uh, mine with explosives, that's pretty much it. Explosives um, will fall when the one under them explodes. So you can stagger your explosives and get a nice long chain reaction going. Just make sure you're not in the way when they start exploding. Otherwise, you will pretty much die. And if you want to place them from the floor, you really need to get out of the way. Another method is just to do this. And then they, a little bit of their fuse ticks away as they're being thrown. So that doesn't work forever because eventually you have to move down because their fuse is setting them off before you hit where you want to, where they're actually doing good. So that's that's an explosive mining 101 tutorial there. And also, um, oh look, I got a hard shackle, which I think is what I've actually got. Now I've got warding. So hard means what? One defense, yeah. So, um, certain blocks, like, when dropped on the floor as entities, will explode, uh, will actually, well, die when you explode them. Because they have a, I think, they have sort of like an explosion resistance amount, and when that's exceeded, then they despawn, basically. But, um, there's also a limit to how many, uh, loose blocks can be on the screen at once, or in the world at once. So, you want to try not to, if you're actually trying to get the drops, you want to be careful how um, many bombs you throw, because you could very well end up blowing up, like, gold and losing, not actually getting it, because it didn't drop. Okay, there's a lot of sand under here, that's curious. So, I want to make a nice big hole. So this is basically how you'd uh, explosive mine for a very big hole. Also be careful of when you grapple and throw a, a bomb into the block you're grappled onto because occasionally the bomb will get stuck in something, like it'll get stuck in the block you threw it onto, I'm not really sure how. I think it just sort of glitches inside of it and stays there. So I found some water, that's always useful. It's really useful if you have a water walking potion, because then you can stand on top of the water and just throw bombs through it. Let's see what's down here. Gold! I'll just let that go off. Also, uh, glow sticks being mobile lighting. Uh, also counts for underwater, so when explosive mining, stick a glow stick at the bottom and then you won't have to keep trying to find out exactly where you're blowing up. So this is basically turned into a mining episode now, because I got a pretty shit ocean, I wanted to go mining. And like I said, I'm going to drain this ocean, so um, I'll make sure I drain it on camera, don't you guys worry about that. Because it is quite a thing to see when an entire ocean starts disappearing. So right now what I'm going to do is just chuck away some shit. Like stuff that I really don't need. I'm just going to delete it by throwing it in my trash. Which, uh, have I mentioned how much I like the trash? Right, let's get some more bombs going. It's a good idea to leave a little bit of room between the bombs for, mo for maximum effect. Otherwise, you could very well have a bomb that's about to blow up, 
but still in the air because um, the bomb that blew up previous to it didn't leave it enough time to fall. So it looks like my world is lagging a little bit. That's probably Fraps. As I've mentioned before, Fraps is very like intensive. It takes a lot to run because it produces massive like 50... Like my average um, 50 gig files, what I was going to say there. My average file for an episode of Minecraft or Terraria will be probably anywhere between 20 and 120 gigabytes. Because what Fraps does is it records it in a massive, massive raw file, which uh, contains, is like the maximum quality it can be for what you've recorded. And then it re relies on your rendering software to reduce the size of that file and thus the quality as well. So if I put out my actual videos, it would take several days to upload them. And um, I don't actually think YouTube would let me put out put up videos that large. I don't think YouTube would dedicate that much server space to a video, just a video being like a half hour video being 120 gig. It's ridiculous. But just to say how good, um, you may notice at the end of my videos there is a little banner that comes up, and it says uh, freemakevideoconverter.com, something like that. That is uh, the rendering software I use, and the reason I don't mind the banner appearing is because the software itself is actually completely free, and it turns 120 gig files down to 700, 800 megabytes. So it reduces the size of my files by about 99%. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. Generally, if you're using it to render a video into, say, an MP4 or AVI format, you will get um, video files just ridiculously small. And I mean, I render it in uh, 720, uh, 720p at about 50 FPS, my YouTube videos are. So you guys can watch them in HD, and uh, they're not as big and cumbersome as my actual fraps files which is nice so if you're looking for a free piece of rendering software I highly recommend Freemake I mean it's not a video editing software I'd like to stress that it is primarily just rendering it, you can chop up you can chop videos up a bit which is what I need to do when I get like interrupted and stuff um, but it does allow it does allow a small amount of video editing but it's completely free and it has a fantastic file conversion rate like conversion size and it takes maybe half an hour for a half an hour 120 gig video uh, file so it almost renders it in real time basically so it's not the fastest and it's not video editing software but it is extremely efficient and has has saved me the need of several thousand hard drives uh, and several days of uploading so if you are looking for a bit of rendering software, you know, just even if you just want it as a video converter, you can convert files from one type to another, and it's not going to be one of those, you know, like videoconverter.com ones, which are generally full of viruses and spam and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end it here for now, guys. This should be about half an hour, maybe a little bit longer. Like I said, I'm not sure how much I'm going to have to cut out because I did get interrupted and was recording for a little bit while interrupted because I didn't realise. So, uh, yes, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I know I have, and just so you know, a trident is a sort of spear-type weapon that um, attacks... It can hit one enemy multiple times, and it has a better range than a sword. And it's actually not bad. Oh, I got darkened. But look, yeah, I have uh, darkness. And I can't cancel that. Most of the times you can cancel a debuff by clicking on it. But uh, yes, thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And um, I will see you next time for a another episode of this. I mean, it's not going to be the next video of mine you watch. Probably won't be another episode of this. Unless this is the only thing on my channel you watch. And then I'd like to say, what the hell are you doing? Go check out my other videos. I have like 500 other videos. Go and check them out. You might enjoy them. Anyway, before I start saying even more bullshit... Thanks for watching, guys. I've been BTBS. This has been Terraria. Peace out.